one more animal left to get, the reptiles. We're going to start from scratch once again. And so the first thing we need to do is get to amphibians. And in order to get to amphibians, we need our fish eating crustaceans. So from my flatworms, I'm going to need at least two families. One I will change into fish, one I will change into crustaceans. I've already got plants for those, so I'm going to get these set up. I'll let it run for a little bit, and then I'll just make a few more plants just so that we've got plenty of food in these two locations. And then I'm going to buy a home for each of them as well. So we've got one family over there. This will be my fish, and we'll buy another home over here. This will be my crustaceans. And so I'm just gonna let these run until I've got my fish and my crustaceans. There we go. I've got my fish and my crustaceans. So I'm gonna do a couple of things. Um, I'm gonna get rid of these plants. I'm going to get rid of all these plants. Yes, get rid of all these plants. And then I'm gonna remove the homes. I'm gonna use these same homes, but I don't need the plants anymore. And I'm going to radiate these out. So I'm going to get rid of the flatworms. I don't need them anymore. And then um, I'm going to make two more homes. I'm going to make sure my fish are eating the crustaceans. So I'll be right back after I radiate away the flatworms. Now, I should probably mention, you don't need to radiate the flatworms away. You can keep them in your tank. That's totally fine. I just think that it'll be easier if we have the less different types of animals as we go through this. So now I'm going to place my first home down. That is for my crustaceans. I'll place my second home down. You don't probably need these either, but that's for my fish. And then I like to just make another family with another home for some more crustaceans. Just so there's plenty of food available. It's the only food available actually um, since I got rid of the plants. But now my fish will eat my crustaceans and they will turn into amphibians. This does take a bit of time though, so I'm just gonna let it run, and I'll see you back here when we've got amphibians. There we go, we have amphibians. Now, I'm gonna get rid of the crustaceans and the fish, and I will show you how to get set up to transform your amphibians into reptiles, and it is quite specific. But give me a moment just to get rid of these other animals, and then we'll take a look at that. All right, I just have my amphibians left. I'm gonna remove my homes. I'll use one of them for my amphibians later, but we'll remove all of these homes. And then now we need to get set up. The first thing we're gonna need is a bit of area that is out of the water. So I'm gonna create just some out there. It might be a little too much. All right, there we go. We've got some area out of the water. And then, uh, I've talked with the dev about this, and so originally, if if I grow this plant, this should work, or this you know is the description of what should work. It's it's a tall plant. It's got four nodes high. It's got some complex branching stalks coming off of it. Um, should work. Now the issue though is that my amphibians actually can't eat these these lower leaves. They need to get up to where they connect to the, the stalk. And so if I trim a couple of these away, the issue is, let's get this last one, there we go. The issue is that my, my starting node where they come off from is too high off the ground for my amphibians to get. This wasn't an issue when we tried to get insects because the insects could fly. But this one, it's way too high off the ground. The amphibians can't get up to this starting node to eat it. And so I had to fiddle with some stuff and make make tiny versions of this. It's, it's the same exact plant, just edited the DNA so that the overall scale of everything, uh, that's a gene that you can find, the overall scale of everything is just super tiny. So I'm going to get rid of this. And now we've got we've got this tiny little plant. It's still four nodes tall. It is still technically four nodes tall. It's got this branching structure. It's complex. Uh, it's 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 you know it's the same exact plant. It's just been miniaturized. And so I'm going to create a few more of these. 
Again, I don't think you need multiple sources, but it just, it just looks better to me. So this is what our amphibians are going to eat. And so now they can get they can get right down into it and eat them from there. And I have tested this, it does work. Now again, you probably don't need the home for this, it's the only food source available. But when you are trying to evolve animals in a larger tank, or if you've got a bunch of different animals, putting the home near the food source you want them to eat is going to help you. All right, at this point, I just need to let it run for a while. It's gonna take a bit of time, even longer than getting the amphibians. Once we have the intermediate state, I'll take a pause as I usually do and show you what to look for to make sure that maybe your plant is, is a little bit bigger than this. It doesn't have to be this tiny. This is as small as it can be, um, but it can't be as big as that first plant I showed you. So maybe if you just want to check, you know, am I getting, you know, do I have the right plant? Can I get to reptiles? I'll show you what to look for when you get new generations of animals to make sure that you are on the right track. So we've got our new generation. It's on our way. A couple of things to point out just so you can check yourself if it's on the right way. If we notice over here, the, the head is kind of like pointing up more. So this this is bring up Eddie Jean as well. This is on its way. Uh, the head is up a little bit compared to what we started with with our amphibians. The head's tilted up a little bit. And then you can also kind of see on the flippers, they've got some toes starting to form. So I think this is one of the harder ones to tell the difference between. Um, but again, the things to look for is in the thumbnails up on the left, the head will be sort of facing upwards. And then if you look in Eddie Gene, you can kind of, even if I let this run a little bit, you can kind of see they're just a little wonky. You know, they got some little, starting to make some toes and stuff, uh, even when he's sleeping. But yeah, they're starting to make some toes. So we're about halfway there. We will wait until we get our reptiles, and I will see you back then. And there we go. We've got our reptiles. I've got a chest. Uh, we've got our reptiles. Here they are. They are super, super beautiful. I love these reptiles. Oh my gosh. So awesome. Um, but that's it. That is all of the animals that are currently in this game. I know the developer has plans for other animals eventually. And I'm looking forward to them as well. I mean, just think about getting some turtles, some frogs, maybe even some bees. Who doesn't like bees? Um, but there we go. Uh, if, if you've got any questions or comments about, you know, how, how do I do something in this game or make a video about this, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm, I, I love this game, absolutely love this game, and if there are other videos or, you know, types of content that people want to see for this game, just let me know, and I will do my best to cover those. But that's going to end the series at this point with Evolving Animals. I hope to see you next time.